Hey, what's going on, Vault Hunters? Big Bad Dirty Dog here, coming to you from the Dog Pound. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are back here on Borderlands 3 with another episode of my Legendary Weapon Farming and Review Guide, where I show you guys where to farm some of the legendaries in the game, minus that in the Arms Race DLC, because those are too much of a pain in the old Gluteus Maximus to farm. So with further ado, let's get right into it. So this week we are looking at the Pat MK3, which happens to be featured this week in the Marisa's Black Market vending machine. So I'll put a link up to that video in the right hand corner if you'd rather take your luck trying to go farm it in the vending machine. But if you want to do it regular farming way like I do, then this video is for you. So with further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, uh, the Pat MK3, as you can see, is a legendary T or SMG. It comes in kinetic, which means at no element, or you can get it in shock, corrosive, or cryo, which I have here. Now, the unique ability of the Pat MK3 wiggly bullets, regular weapon of whatever weapon element you have damage, its reload explosion deals the car damage times the leftover bullets because if you didn't know with TDRs, if you shoot the, some of the bullets, whatever's left in your magazine, you can throw it, and whatever bullets are left in the magazine will do that amount of damage. It also has when you throw the magazine count of the disposed weapon is refilled. Weapon throw direct hits always deal full magazine damage. The thrown pat MK3 explodes on enemy contact or sticks to a surface and becomes a walking turret that shoots nearby enemies, which is really pretty cool. The walking turret has a chance to fire a laser beam that penetrates. Very cool gimmicky gun. Not sure if I would use this on bosses or not, but I'm going to show you that here in a second. Now, as always, if you want the best version of this gun, be on level 10, 10 or 11. I go for Mayhem 11 because I'm not a big fan of, uh, well, you know. Now, for max DPS, you want a god roll one of these. You want damage to be 23,802. I have 22,669. 71% accuracy, minus 67%. 58% handling, mine is that. 1.6 seconds reload time, mine is. 6.79 seconds fire rate, mine is. Magazine size, 22, mine is. Bonus stats, 109% weapon damage, mine's only 99, 15% weapon fire rate, which I have. And again, if you can get artifacts or class mods that have weapon damage, TDR weapon damage, fire rate, SMG damage, you can increase the damage output of this weapon. Mine's probably maybe the second or third best weapon in a game. Now, if you want to get this weapon, unfortunately, it is not in the base game. You have to get it in the Psycho Craig's Fuster Cluck, and make sure I say that right and not get myself in trouble, DLC. And you're going to want to go... to Castle Crimson, which is in Craig's mind. Then you want to go here to the walls. You're going to jump over here, and you're going to go down and around here, kind of a pain, come around here, come all the way around here, you're going to come all the way up here to where I'm at. Now this isn't where the enemy is at, but you want to make sure you hit the safe station right here, because it's going to make farming a lot easier. So we're going to go around the corner here, I'm going to kind of show you. There's going to be some spiders here. It's going to shout, reload, and you can see where it turns into a turret there. These spider ants are such a pain in the butt. But you can kind of see how it turns into a little turret.
<laughs> Thank God for my trusty uh, plasma coil. You see, it does a decent amount of damage. I wouldn't use this for bossing by any stretch of the imagination. That's a, that's a fun little gimmicky gun. But anyway, we're going to go take on the boss here real quick. Now you're going to be fighting a Spongebob Bullet Pants, who is definitely uh, one of the uh, toughest enemies in the game. And you're going to see me do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to be using my, uh, calling in my uh, bot. Now it is cool that they have a little uh, Spongebob Easter egg in here. Because the Spongebob is a totally, <laughs> well, probably the hardest boss in the game. He's got a ton of health. You can kind of see there's this little pineapple. It's going to come out right here. It has a 30% chance to drop this weapon. Spongebob, Spongebob's bullet pants. You see he's level 75. You gotta kill him pretty quickly, otherwise he'll evolve and he'll keep going too. So I'm using a frozen heart shield to try to prevent him from uh, evolving. I'm trying to kill him as quickly as possible. He just comes right in my shield, he don't even care, Sponge Balls don't care. He actually dropped two legendaries, so he's he's a pretty good legendary farm. So he dropped the oh the plus ultra, not a bad shield, and then the blind sage shotgun. So he's definitely good for uh, farming legendaries, but like I said, he has a ton of health. Not something you're gonna take down easily. But yeah, and final thoughts on the weapon. It's decent if you're just playing around, messing around, good for enemies that don't have a lot of health. Wouldn't use it in like major mobs, wouldn't use it for boss fighting. A scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to rank this weapon probably about a 6. It's fun to use, not really good for anything else. You can see it turns like a little turret there. Yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this weapon. Is this something you're interested in? You're going to get it from the vending machine. You're going to try and farm it. I don't really think it's worth it. But yeah, but that's going to do it for this video. As always, love and appreciate all you that take the time to watch, comment, like, and share my videos. It means the world to me. Much love to all your beautiful faces. If you are enjoying the content, as always, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button and share the videos. It helps me out tons. So until...
next time, stay awesome, stay amazing, stay wonderful, stay fantastic, as always, stay beautiful, my friends.